Hello I'm Simplify. Today I'll be showing you how to make this photocopy effect in Photoshop. Before we start, we need to use a large canvas size because this effect doesn't work on small canvas sizes. For my case, I'm using a 5000 by 5000 canvas and a 300 dpi. Here I have a low resolution photo of Tyler the Creator, but that doesn't matter. Just make sure it's not too low res. The first thing we need to do is reset our palette here. So press D on your keyboard or just press this icon here to reset your color swatches. Select your image, then go to filter, filter gallery, open up the texture folder and select the green. The settings here will vary from one image to another, but I recommend keeping it between 20 and like 40. For this image, I'm going to use 35 and for the contrast, I'm going to set it to 50. Then I'm going to add another effect. So just press this plus icon here, open up the sketch folder and apply stamp effect. Same applies for this effect. You need to play around with it because that will depend on your image. But I recommend keeping the number low, especially for the smoothness, because otherwise it becomes smudged and loses all the grain and details. So for the smoothness, just keep it around three and four, maybe even two. In my case, I'm gonna keep it at four. For the light and darkness, I think nine looks good and then hit okay. Now we need to give our image some color. So we're gonna apply a gradient map. Let's we'll go to adjustments, gradient map. I'm gonna open up the settings. I'm gonna lighten the black here. I'm just going to do this one and maybe add a, an orange or a, or a red. Let's keep in an orange. Then hit OK. I'm going to turn the eyes and the teeth to white. So select the layer mask on the gradient map. Hit B on your keyboard to select the brush tool. I'm going to paint where I want to delete the color. Another trick you can do is like if you want the, still the grains to be applied on the eye a little bit, set the blending mode of this gradient map layer to dissolve and set the flow to a low number. Let's do 50 and just paint with black. As you can see, it gives us that little bit of dotted greens left and it just gives a cool effect. What I like to do to add some texture is add a new layer and fill it with 50% gray. So just hit shift backspace on your keyboard. The content is 50% gray, then hit OK. Then go to filter, filter gallery. The first one should be the grain we applied earlier, but just set the intensity to a higher number, for example, 70, and the contrast is 70 as well. And for the second one, make it a half tone pattern. Set the size to four and the contrast is zero. Then hit OK. And set the blending mode to overlay. And that just simulates the scan line from a printer. And also, I like to add some noise. So I'm just gonna group everything into one layer. So hit Control, Shift, Alt E, convert it to a small object. Then go to Filter, Camera or Filter, open up the Effects tab and add some grain. Add a pretty high number, add the roughness as well. It adds a little difference to the texture we added, but that's basically it. If you want to support the channel, make sure to check out my website. I provide a lot of free and paid assets. Also follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.